What's going on? Will Taylor. I'm a professional BP hitter, uh, owner, editor, and producer of the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, I'm gonna show you guys what's in my bag. All right, so first off, you know, being the bat bro, we gotta go over my bats. Uh, to start out, I, I usually am like br constantly breaking in bats, whether it's like a composite BB core bat or birch wood, you always need to break in, especially if it's not like pre-steel pressed. You wanna get a couple hundred swings on it with good hard baseballs to make sure that that wood compresses down and becomes as hard as possible. First, uh, this is gonna be in Bat Madness, round two against the Mike Trout Old Hickory. We got the Birdman here. This is the truck stop turn model. It has a really kind of big flared knob right here and a pretty medium thin barrel. This is the bat that Yasiel Puig went off with when he had like that big tear for the LA Dodgers early on. I think it was like his first week in the bigs. This is the bat he swung. Very, very good bat. Uh, again, it's a Birch 33 inch. We got, this bat's super sick. I really like this one. This is a B45, also a Birch bat almost has like the no knob you can get a sneak peek of those right here super super skinny handle and knob and a mega mega barrel uh this is going to be in the second round as well i think this is actually has to face off against the cody bellinger very very good bat then moving on uh if i'm ever just hitting for fun or like my adult league stuff or i'll just mix it into comparisons my gamer my favorite bat literally the bat bros custom turn model the BB i13 HD Maple from American Batsmith. We have two different models here. This is the, this is a drop 2.75, so basically a drop three. This one's a drop two, so it's just gonna be a bit heavier, denser, harder wood. So this is essentially an i13 with a bit longer and more narrow barrel. It's uncupped. You can get it cupped as well too on their website. And then the no knob, which is I think my personal favorite bat handle and bat grip in the game. This thing's incredible. But uh, yeah, I think I personally think this combines it all. Not too overwhelming of a swing weight, pretty easy to swing, a long barrel, mega sweet spot, and it's just hard, dense wood, hits the ball a mile. This is my favorite wood bat I've ever swung, and you guys can buy it, so go check it out. And then it has, you know, there's a million different colorways. These are just, you know, two of my favorites. Big, big orange fan, big flame fan. All right, going into the bag here, I have a bunch of stuff. I have this like DeMarini backpack. It fits six bats. It's kind of tearing on me, but I've had it for a long time. I like this thing. I don't know what it's called, but uh, let's see what's in here. It's kind of a mess. I like to prepare as much as possible because I have like, you know, we'll do like four videos in a day sometimes. I can go through a few batting gloves. So uh, I guess we'll just start out, yeah, with batting gloves. I have a whole bunch. Um, I actually haven't got these yet. These have been backups the whole time, but uh, these are some Warstick gloves. I think these are called the Workman 3 gloves from Warstick. Uh, these are the yellow ones. I just thought they were pretty fire. It has like almost like the boxing glove strap here. Right there, pretty clean. Haven't even like worn these ones yet just because I have a lot of BGs to get through, but these will get used eventually once I tear holes in all the other ones. Uh, I have these Stinger batting gloves. These are also backups. Haven't got to these yet. Honestly, really similar concept. Still has like that boxing glove strap. I don't even think that helps a lot. It's just cool looking. Uh, then these are my most commonly used batting gloves. These are from True Diamond Science. I don't know what they're exactly called, but they have the palm pad right here, which I personally really, really like. I love it. I use this for both baseball and slow pitch softball. Uh, th these are my go-to batting gloves, these, these True Diamond Science gloves. I have two pairs even. I just rotate back and forth. If they get too sweaty in the middle of a round, I'll just switch to, switch to the other pair. Um, that's it for batting gloves currently in the bag. Oh, gotta have these, the pro hitter. So this is like the little thumb guard you'll see JT, Trace and I always wearing. So as a righty, it'll go in your right hand. As a lefty, it'll go in your left hand. And it basically, you just wear it like this. It just pushes the handle of the bat to be more in like your fingertips. Uh, and coincidentally, I started using this around the time when, when like my power really started to increase. I started, you know, getting an extra 30, 40 feet of distance on my home runs. I think this honestly helped contribute to that among, uh, among a few other things, but this was a game changer for me for sure. So I always have a couple of these in the bag. And then moving on to the iconic Bat bro will shin guards. Uh, a lot of people give me crap for this, but we're throwing like anywhere from like 55 to 65 mile an hour batting practice. And if you get hit in the shin, if you foul ball off your foot or shin, it still hurts. <laughs> you have to have velocity. So I uh, definitely rock these and it just looks sick. So I, I have two, these are both super nice. I just kind of alternate between them. Uh, this is G form, this is bell guard. Uh, they're both incredible uh i just you know depends on what i'm wearing that day 
We got the custom Pat Bro fanny pack. This holds like some of my sound equipment though. This is like, you know, fancy microphone to help protect against the wind and stuff. But really trying to highlight the Bat Bro fanny pack, baseballbatbros.com, go check it out. Um, game changer for me right here. I switched over from Tiger Stick pretty recently. Pelican Bat Wax, the Pelican Pine Stick. Um, really similar concept to like a Tiger Stick, but just stickier, man. I, I absolutely love this stuff. Smells nice. This is my favorite kind of pine tar, the Pelican the Pelican stuff, I just stumbled upon it. Um, I always carry around some backup bat grips just because we tear through bat grips. I have the Voot grips here, then I have a Vulcan bat grip here, uh, just in case like something wears off on one of our BB core bats or our wood bats are getting slick. Uh, I've got a pocket radar, just, you know, velocity tester here, just, you know, if, if we're doing stuff off the tee or we want to like make sure we're throwing decent velo off the mound, sometimes the boys want to do pull downs or something like that. Uh, so I always just carry this around just in case it comes in handy. I got my glove for the rare occasion that I actually play catch. Uh, this is just an outfield glove, A2000 here. I was actually a Rawlings guy growing up. I think those actually stayed stiff and lasted a bit longer. The Rawlings Pro preferred specifically, uh, but I just, you know, a friend gave this to me. So got a couple baseballs. Shout out to the homies over at Close, Close Out Bats. Pennsylvania American Legion Wilson A1030 is pretty sick. And then lastly, what kind of what's in my bag episode would this be if I didn't have the Royal T4s always on hand? Gotta have the J's. These are getting old. I gotta get some more fellas, but that's it, fellas. I mean, that, that's pretty much a day in the life of a bat bro as far as what's in my bag. Sometimes I have like four more times bats than that, but uh, only had four today. Pretty easy day, but there it is, fellas. What's up guys, I'm Hype and I had to jump in this video real quick to tell you about a giveaway I'm doing on my Instagram page. I'm giving away a pair of cleats to one subscriber to the channel. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel you're on right now. Follow me on Instagram, comment two people under that post, and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. Once this channel gets to 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a pair of cleats. So good luck.